Hello folks. Well, I think this is a Hoover Porter Power. Feels about the correct weight. And I've realized I've not actually shown you this particular version of Porter Power, although I do have one and I've had it for quite some time. I've shown you, I think, um, I've shown you a U USA Porter Power, the commercial one. I've shown you a USA office cleaner based on the Porter Power. I've shown you a made in the USA, but for the British market, new in the box Porter Power. And I've also shown you a later gray model. Well, this inside here, I think, is a UK made Porter Power, earlier than the gray model. I think this was the first UK made Porter Power. This came after the American made one that you have seen. And I do have one in my collection that I've never shown you, but it's missing some parts. So I thought I'd get this one and out of the two, keep whichever one is the best. But I don't think this has got all the tools either. It is the correct one because we do have the original Hoover Porter Power box. And yes, back in the day, I had one of these exactly like this one in exactly this box. I had one of these from brand new. I can't recall how much they cost back then, maybe about 50 pounds in the 80s. Um, this is, I don't know, this could be 83, 84. Box is a little bit worse for wear, as you can see. And uh, judging by the hairy forearm there, that's a man or a, a woman on some hormone treatment clearing up after a bit of DIY work because that's the only time you would see a man using any sort of vacuum cleaner in brochures or on boxes or in TV commercials. You'd only see a man with a vacuum if he was cleaning his car or picking up DIY mess. Otherwise, no, 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 men didn't vacuum back in the day. But as you can see, there is a man here using the porter power for some sawdust. And then, Judging by the painted nails here, we've got a lady using the porter power on stairs. Ideal for stairs, of course, because of its compact size. And yes, lo and behold, here we have the porter power inside a car and there's a man cleaning his lovely velour car seats. So let's have a look. This is model S1126. And I think it's missing all the small cleaning tools, but they may be included, but they weren't pictured. Here's the uh, standard. Now the tools for this one are dark brown, not black, but I think they did change to black a bit later on. Certainly when Hoover launched the gray model, there were a black tool kit and the burgundy Porter Power Super with wheels that had a black tool kit, but it was different to the standard 800 gray model. So here we go, the uh, suction nozzle for the carpets and hard floors. It's got the um, floating brush, which you can lock in the down position for your hard floors. Leave it floating for carpets, or you can lock it in the up position as well. So there we go, pretty standard nozzle. one of the hopefully two extension tubes in very good condition to be honest um, the locking ring hasn't broken at the end like they often do and the other one again in equally good condition here we have the hose so yes there are no other tools but i might might be able to cobble them together, but um, they're a little bit harder to get hold of, uh, brown cleaning tools. Black ones and even the old Hoover white tools are much easier to get than these brown ones. But yes, that is in lovely, lovely condition. Hoover's double stretch hose, very nice. And you've got your little suction control. So all in all, very good condition so far take the cleaner out so yes unfortunately nothing else I do believe I have got an instruction book for this machine 
but it is of course it's missing all the small tools this would have come with a crevice tool a dusting brush and an all-purpose nozzle so here it is the Hoover Porter Power and it does say made in Britain on the label here on this sort of panel here with Hoover Porter Power printed this is where you would store the mains cable it does store around the handle and Hoover sensibly provided a clip to keep the mains cable in place I'll just have to rewire this plug it is an old plug but probably older much older than the machine if you have a look at that I wonder what brand it is I can't see the brand of it oh, it says HH in a globe shape in the middle I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that but as you can see and this is something I used to see an awful lot when I was buying second-hand vacuum cleaners when people wired up their own plug can you, you can see here the blue and the brown the brown live wire and the blue neutral wire when you're wiring a plug up you're supposed to clamp the outer insulation of any mains cable underneath the cord clamp and not the inner because that a quick tug and that could come loose and possibly give you a shock I did quite like that plug it's quite compact so um, I think I possibly will leave the plug on but I'm just going to wire it up a bit better off camera before I switch on let's undo the cable what a neat little machine the Porter Power was and absolutely an ideal cleaner for doing your car for doing your stairs this would have been okay in a in a small flat or a very small home as your only cleaner but I think it was mainly marketed for people who wanted a second vacuum cleaner because once you've sold one vacuum cleaner how are you going to make people decide that they need another one well you provide them with a product saying look here's a very compact lightweight vacuum cleaner but with a powerful motor ideal for all those above floor jobs that your hoover upright isn't very good at because of course when this was in the shops a lot of the upright cleaners didn't have all the tools attached you had to fit them separately plug them in at the back with the electrolux or with many hoovers of this era fit the pan converter over the agitator which wasn't very convenient so looking at it pretty good the the lovely very very retro brown orange and burgundy stripe is in very good condition it's not it's not perfect but that is pretty good I just absolutely love that design a bit uglier on this side because you've got all the screw holes so if you want to get into one of these and I think these used a Hoover Freedom motor to get into one of these one two three four five six six screws you'd undo and then the whole thing would come apart let's have a quick look at the rating sticker we'll see if we can date this Hoover Porter Power okay so this is Hoover model S1126 240 volts 50 hertz 800 watts serial number S1126 4010144848 trademarks of Hoover PLC made by Hoover PLC Great Britain so on the serial number S1126 is the model and I believe four donates the year so this is I would say from 1984 and I think the 01 denotes the month so I think this is from January 1984 at the top of the Porter Power we've got two anchor points here designed to take the optional carry strap now I've got one of the original carry straps I bought as an optional extra back in the day they never came with one I think the USA commercial Porter Power that uh, is the most recent and possibly the last version of Porter Power I think that came with one I'd have to check back on the video so I'm sure probably on Amazon.com or some other suppliers in the USA can possibly get a carry strap because it'll fit all but quite hard to get I would think in the UK there's a toggle type on off switch very reminiscent of older hoover constellations or some hoover upright cleaners and at the back here and yes it's perished but i've got plenty of this sort of material 
we have if I can open it we have the blower outlet this sucks and blows it doesn't want me to open up the back of it the very first port of power we got the USA one if you watch that video the back grill was a different color sort of a burgundy ish color I think and also the back door was a different color but as you can see with this version it's all the same so being very very careful I don't know why that's um that doesn't want to open believe you me it does open because it's designed oh there we go phew so yes as we can see this mesh diffuser has completely perished just crumbles to bits that but I have something very very similar that I can just cut to fit and if you look here I'll have to get that bit off but it's just glued just a, a line of glue that's all that held that in place there we go so that's what time has done to this Hoover Porter Power and as you can see now we have got a little hose inlet or outlet perhaps you could call it where you can fit the hose and now use the Porter Power for blowing and a vacuum cleaner that blows is quite useful. Now, if I had the crevice nozzle, that's the nozzle I would put on the end of here to concentrate the blowing. Of course, crevice tool concentrates the suction, ideal for doing your nooks and crannies and down the sides of your chairs, but it also, when it's used as a blower, will concentrate the blower blowing action. Absolutely fantastic for cleaning behind radiators because they get a lot of dust built up so you can use the port power at the top of the radiator, blow all the dust out from underneath and then connect the hose to the suction end and suck all the dust that the port power has dislodged. So not something you find on modern vacuum cleaners these days really, but it is very useful to have. So there we go. That's the blower outlet. And here's the suction bit. So Got a little flap here to help prevent dirt from coming out when you uh, move the machine. No filtration whatsoever. Oh, it's very hard to see, but there's just a little plastic mesh. There never was a filter in these machines. The only filter really is the cloth bag. Now again, somewhere in my stocks, I do have a paper bag converter and some paper bags but in the UK it was never available the Porter Power was never sold as a machine you could put bags in it was this that's slightly different this because this is brown the other bags I've got I think are a grey material but it's I would say it's genuine and quite clogged up quite a lot of dirt in there so that needs taking uh, inside out and then vacuumed with another cleaner so in it goes, you've got to make sure it's in properly because the seal is part of the bag. So there we go, that's in. And then we just close the, the bag door and move that little catch to the locked position. And then of course you can just pop the hose on one end. So there we have the Hoover Porter Power. Well, we haven't turned the Hoover Porter Power on yet, have we? So what we'll do, what I will do, I'll leave it as it is because I'm not sure if it's on or off. Plug it in. I've rewired the plug so it's a little bit safer. Okay, then, here goes. Doesn't sound too bad at some point. Could possibly do with being serviced. 
So as I said earlier in the video, I do have two of these. So when I find my other one, it's somewhere in storage. I'll, um, I think this one is possibly in the better, better condition, especially on the underside of these, because there's no wheels. People used to drag them along carpets and, and hard floors, especially, and they would all scratch up, but that's not too bad. So it's possibly only had light use and judging by the condition of the cleaning tools, um, I think this is probably the better one. So out of the two, I'll find which is the best and then somebody else will be able to buy my other version of this. So I've got a, I've got a few now. It's the one with wheels I haven't got, the Porter Power Super, which uh, again, I did used to own from brand new. And I think it was about 10 pounds more than the regular Porter Power. And for the extra 10 pound, you got a more deluxe cleaning toolkit the two wheels and a little swivel caster at the front. Okay, well, let's try and pick up the mess that we've made with the old exhaust filter. Well, it's picked everything up as I expected. A bit hard to push again on this plush carpet. So I think for this carpet, instead of having the brushes floating, I think to have them locked in the up position might help. <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. It takes a long time. A long time to wind down, doesn't it? Might have slightly more suction. I mean, this isn't bad actually, but might have slightly more suction if I was to vacuum out the bag. So I've got another vacuum behind me. So I'll just uh, try and get as much of this dirt out of the cloth bag as I can. There you go, that's uh, more or less clean. I could have spent a couple more minutes on it, but uh, it'll do for now. I don't think it, it really needs washing either. I'm just worried it might shrink, you see? Because again, the cloth bags for these are hard to get hold of. Although again, I have seen them on amazon.com in the USA, but not uh, in the UK. Don't think I'll be able to note much of a difference in the suction. Oh, can you hear how quiet it is? Of course, you fool. I need to unplug the cleaner I used to clean this cleaner and then plug in the water power. It's not cordless, folks. Although, you know, even back when this was in the shops, maybe in the 90s, it's not unfeasible that they could have done a cordless version you know there's possibly room inside here for a battery of some description <laughs> mm. well pretty pleased with that it's what i expected it's a uh, pretty good condition it looked pretty good from the pictures uh one thing i'll do i've never tested the suction i don't think on a hoover Porter power, so if you excuse me, I'll just go into my drawer here. Hopefully, move all these boxed vacuums out of the way. Uh, mm, right. <laughs> now I've I've had it. I had it yesterday, folks. Oh, it's that. 
I, I didn't put it away. It's still here, look. Now, it's hard to get a decent seal on this type of uh, hose end with a locking ring. Always seems to, it will leak out a bit because of the design of it. Oh, but if I close that off a bit, then it might help. This is just a very rough guide. So let's see what, what an 800 watt vacuum from the sort of mid eighties. See what suction it can produce. <laughs> Well, I'd say that was around 60 on my gauge, which isn't bad for a compact little cleaner with an 800 watt motor, especially from the uh, sort of mid 80s. And certainly 60 is a lot higher than the tool suction would be on a Hoover Upright cleaner. So I can see this being the best of both worlds. In the 80s, in the mid 80s, you would have been able to buy a Hoover Turbo Power when this machine was in the shop. So you could have a lovely Hoover Turbo Power for your carpets, get your carpets deeply cleaned and reactivated, groomed very nicely with a Turbo Power, and then use your Porter Power for your hard floors and your stairs and your car and everything else. Because although the Turbo Power was very, very good for carpet cleaning, it wasn't very good on floors and pretty useless. Well, it wasn't useless, but not very good when using the cleaning tools and also not very convenient. Certainly for stairs, it wouldn't reach right to the top. This cleaner is small enough to stand on a stair. It's also light enough to carry up the stairs and just absolutely ideal for the car because, you know, back in the day for car cleaning, I mean, you could still, you've got, got little car cleaners. Often they worked off the cigarette lighter socket in your car or the, the older ones used to have to clamp to the car battery. And of course, you could get the mains powered Hoover Dustet and other smaller mains powered vacuums at this time. But I would say, for the time, this was probably the most powerful thing you could use to clean your car out other than a full sized vacuum, but it's far more convenient to take out and clean your car with. Well, that's it for today. Anyway, little look at this uh, very basic, but very, very handy Hoover Porter Power. This would be handy now, you know? I know we all go for these cordless machines, but sometimes you want something with mains power, something that's not going to run out of juice when you're halfway in a job. Just an ideal little machine. And I've got a, a couple of DIY type cleaners to show you on this channel. I'm not sure if you've seen any of them yet. Designed to be used alongside power tools and for quick DIY cleanup jobs. One's, uh, no, they're both actually rechargeable, that's right. But I don't think they'll have anywhere near the suction of this Hoover Porter Power. If you have any comments or questions about this blast from the past, the Hoover Porter Power, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.